We are recording and we have Jordan Addison joining us to start off this session. Jordan, we greatly appreciate your time today. No problem. We'll go ahead and open up for questions for Mr. Addison. Jordan, what's it like um, just working with Coach Marion and how's that been the past month or two building that relationship with him? Uh, working with Coach Marion, is, it's been really fun. Since day one, we all clicked. He knew how to control the, um, the receiver room and he just gets us fired up every day to come in here and work. What's been the biggest adjustment going from how Coach Beatty coached to how Coach Marion coaches? Uh, the adjustment hasn't been, you know, too big. We, you know, we all just want to come in there and work. We learn from Coach Beatty, and we're taking that, and we're now we're learning from Coach Marion. So we can just get, keep um, getting knowledge everywhere. So I think it's, it wasn't the adjustment wasn't too bad. I, I just I'm just glad we got to learn from both. Jordan, was it was it a shock to you to lose your wide receivers coach uh, one year, you know, one year into your time at Pitt? Yeah, I think it was it was a shock to me. But, you know, I feel like everything happens for a reason. I'm just glad I got to get coaching tips from him. Jordan, did you know uh, Coach did you, did you know Coach Marion before uh, he, he came here? Were you recruited by him at all or did you come across him at all? Before? No, I was never recruited by him. Speaking of uh, Coach Beatty, uh, Jordan, it's nice to have a guy in the NFL who knows who you are for, for down the road sometime. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Jordan, what was your reaction to back in December? A lot of people didn't know Kenny was coming back. So, I mean, how did you kind of find out and how does that kind of help going into a second year working with him? Man, I found out through a text and I was just fired up. I was ready to go after I seen that. Just so eager to get back, continue building our relationship. Jordan, what do you think you, you need to work on and go, go into your second season? Going into my second season, I think I need to work on like learning the whole offense. Because my first freshman year, I feel like I just knew what I was doing. Now I want to know what everybody is doing. So I know the spacing and the timing, where the ball is going to be, and things like that. Jordan, now that you've had some time to kind of reflect on that first season, uh, what did you kind of take from it? And looking back on it, I mean, did you surprise yourself at all? And uh, and, and how do you kind of look back on that year? Looking back at it, I think I had a pretty good year, but I can improve a lot. I left a couple play, I left a lot of plays out there that I'm working on. So I just want to make sure I have a better season this season. Did you let yourself think back like, all right, well, I was, you know, I was a freshman All-American or you just kind of, looking looking ahead now to next season I try not to look into all that I just want to look keep moving forward that happened and I just want to keep moving forward now and just get better every day Jordan how has um Tacey or Mac looked I know he was kind of banged up at times last year how's, how's he been looking early on this spring I mean early he, he looks he looks good he looks fast he looked back to himself I feel like he's healthy 100 percent he be, he's been making plays this, this spring Jordan, there's a lot of guys uh, coming back, you know, who had some experience the last couple of years. What's the competition been like in the classroom and on the field with you, all you guys? Uh, we, it's been really good. We compete and we push each other every day. So I think um, with everybody coming back and the knowledge that we have now, it, it just it helps every even the younger guys because we get to teach them and everybody just keep continuing to compete every day. Jordan, last year, obviously, your spring got cut short, but I, I think you mentioned a few times that you thought coming in early helped you. With all these freshmen coming in this year, have you been able to kind of help out a few guys, maybe a guy like Miles Austin, kind of show them like, hey, it's important to get here early and kind of learn the ropes a little bit? Yeah, I told him that coming in early, he was going, like, it was going to help him out a lot, um, going through, like, with the plays and stuff. So by the time the season rolls up, he yeah, have good knowledge on everything. Jordan, uh, how comfortable, I guess, did you become with your role last season and uh, going into this year? Do you want to play more outside? Do you want to play more slot? What, do, you have a, do you have a feel for what you kind of want to do in 2021? Yeah, that's what I have been working on. That's why, I, like when I said, I want to learn the whole offense so I can move around a bit and not just be in one, one spot. Do you see 
is ultimately a, a slot receiver or do you see yourself as ultimately a wide out? I'm sorry, can you say that again, please? Do you see yourself as, as a, in, in the future, down the road, do you see yourself as a slot receiver or, or as a wide out? Uh, well, I, I feel like I could, I could do both. So I wouldn't just put myself in one position. So I'll say I, I, can, I can do both. Which one do you prefer? Uh, I'll say slot. Because? Um, I'll say slot because I get I get to get out into space more, coming across on shallows, working out like I get to go against linebackers and safeties. So I feel like I can get to use my utilize my speed out in space more as a slot receiver. Thank you, Jordan. No problem. Jordan, one of the things that Pat told us that he he was interested in with uh. Uh, with with this this year's spring ball, seeing you go up against some of the younger safeties, you know you got to in your freshman year in practices, you got to go up against Paris Ford, Demar Hamlin, guys that have been part of the system. What's it been like, you know, when you're going deep again in those practices and working against some of those younger guys this year and the challenges that they're bringing you? Going against some of the younger guys, you know, I don't um, turn it down a notch. I just go 100 percent because I know at the end of the day it's going to make them better. Jordan, last year you you were uh, you know you did some punt returning and stuff like that. Is that something you hope to do this upcoming season? And who are some of the other guys kind of working at the return spots? Yes, sir. That's something that I'm looking forward to this upcoming season. And um, some of the other guys that are doing that is Jalen Barton and Miles Austin is back there too. Also, v Vincent Davis. Jordan, which defensive back offers is, is the toughest for, to, for you to go against? Which offers the greatest challenges? Uh, I had to think about that one. I'm not sure right now. Putting you on the hot seat today, Jordan. Do we have any final questions for our guest? Uh, sorry, this might this might have got asked. I got here a couple minutes late, but I wanted to ask, what's it been like working working with uh, your new your new receivers coach, Coach Mary, and uh, what's it been like? You know, is him getting in the room, things that he's worked getting you to work on and how do you feel about you know your relationship and how he's pushing you so far uh, like I said it's been great like he make it he makes it fun to come in here and compete every day he makes it compete he controls the room well and I think it's just that's just a good environment to be in Jordan when when you look back at last season as you kind of progress through the year you started to get more doubles more bracket coverages how much did you learn from that experience and especially I think back to the Notre Dame game uh, when they were giving you a lot of double looks? Um, learning from um, when that happened, I just had to um, teach myself like this is going to happen more. So if I just continue to run my route and maybe get in the double team, that helps me get someone else open. So I think that's a good thing too. Jordan, your freshman year was weird. I mean, you have to admit pandemic and all this other stuff. You had a weird freshman year. Are you looking forward to experiencing what was college football before all this started? I'm definitely looking forward to that. I haven't got to really experience that yet. I just want to hear the crowd roar one time. Jordan, I know you're a confident guy, and I'm sure you you know felt like you were capable of doing what you did on the field last year, even, even before you did it. But maybe since the season's ended, have, have you had some time to kind of think about just uh, – you know, how impressive of a freshman season that was for you and maybe uh, what it means for your future to get that kind of start to your college career? I think I had a good freshman year, but I don't think it was great. I, I still got a, I got a lot to improve on, but I had a pretty good freshman year, though. So it's just gives, it gives me a challenge this season to, to do better. Does it maybe like maybe move up your timeline for maybe some of your internal um, kind of goals and, and like kind of places you thought you would be is like, Oh, okay. Well, I started out really good as a freshman. Maybe, and maybe I can do some of these things I thought I could do a little faster than, than I thought. Yeah. Jordan, you said you had a pretty good year, not a great year. What would have made it great? Uh, well, my goals are high. So, I mean, I, I, I think I dropped 10 passes. So I feel like if I eliminate some of those drops, I think it would have been good and, you know, score touchdowns more. I had four touchdowns, I believe. Do you have a goal for 2021, a touchdown goal, yards goal, or anything uh, like that? 2021, I want a thousand yard season. Thousand yards? That's, yeah, that's my personal goal. 
You sound like someone who's tougher on yourself than any coach can be. Is that is that how you motivate? Is that how you run? I'm sorry, can you say that again? I said, you sound like someone who's tougher on yourself and sets goals for yourself beyond and above what a coach could do. Is that how you how you motivate yourself? Is that what drives you? Yeah, that's, that's I feel like you got to be hard on yourself and you got to believe in yourself at all times.